Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nur Fatah Fahengi Binti Muhammad Riza. I'm taking a test of for July semester 2020. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you guys my speech uh, presentation for my final introduction to photology examination. So, let's start. Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm Fatah Farani, your language officer of University Slango. Um, today, I'm going to give a speech about my opinion regarding common problems or weaknesses that Malaysians face in English pronunciations. Malaysian primary problem is that they have not applied their learning of English to their everyday life activities, real communication with real people. Pick up courage to strike up casual conversations with friendly Caucasians on the street, say at a supermarket, or even at any stores nearby. Also, you can make a deal with your English teacher or even your tutor or even your friends uh, to have, say, a weekly conversation over a meal or a cup of coffee. Also, you can watch and note down interesting dialogues from Hollywood movies and practice your emulation on your own with the aid of a recorder or pick any interesting topic and pretend you are giving a presentation and answering questions from the audience. Or you can pick any difficult topic and pretend you are explaining to a kid or even your grandma. It's a one-way conversation, but at least you will get the opportunity to improve your verbal facility. Next, I think some of the common problems that Malaysians have is because they are too scared of being judged if they didn't say it correctly. Language is a form of communication. It's a vehicle that allows true expression between two individuals. It can allow you to voice yourself, your needs, your feelings. It's the channel that brings together two human brains. It's the closest, closest tool we have to mind reading. The feedback is immediate. Both individuals feel the after effects of verbal extreme. As cool as this is, it is equally scary. There is fear in being found out, in being vulnerable, in sharing your thoughts and opinions, part of yourself that you question every day. There is an element of judgment and self-doubt that comes into play. Am I saying this right? Did I pronounce it correctly? I probably sound like an idiot. Shoot, why did I just say that? Does that even make sense? He will call me out on it. She will think I'm a loser for saying that. When you find confidence, you will realize that you cannot control what people will or won't think about you. You can simply speak out your mind and let go. So remove yourself out of equation. Don't dub yourself. Don't edit yourself. Let your words flow. You owe yourself that. People will or won't judge you. The ones who talk to you, uh, think you are cool, will stick around. While the ones that don't, they won't. And that's something you just have to accept. So stop building up this wall around you. Break through it, speak more, practice your English, speak it over and over again until you break out in your own limiting thoughts and realize how truly awesome you are. Don't be shy. Don't try to speak perfect English, even native speaker don't do that. Try to use English words in any way that conveys meaning to other people. English was in part uh, formed by people who spoke it badly, so join the crowd. When you forget a grammatical construction, calmly use a wrong grammar and then ask. How do you say this? When you can tell by puzzle expression that you have mispronounced a word, uh, calmly spell it out. Think of yourself as exploring or discovering English.
Your studies have given you a map of English, but the map is not the land. You must explore the land, knowing that the map may not be 100% right. Explorers sometimes go to the wrong way and have to turn back, but that is normal. Lazy to practice. Practice is a must, my friend. Don't worry about making a mistake because you will make a mistake as a learner. Be patient and talk slowly and carefully. Take help from your family and friends. Speak to them in English only and point out um, mistakes and correct them. Watch out of your pronunciation. Use any online tools that um, pronounce the word correctly. Read books and magazines. Let's see them. <coughs> Sunshine, daisies, buttermellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. Example. Oculus Reparo. That's better, isn't it? Holy cricket! You're Harry Potter! I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. They left without me. They do this every year. Why? Doesn't anyone love me? Isn't there anyone who cares about Sid the Sloth? <laughs> All right, I'll just go by myself. <sighs> oh. Garbage next time! Oh, jeez. Oh, yuck. Oh. I can't believe it. Fresh wild greens. Frank, where did you ever? <laughs> Go ahead. Dig in. <gasps> A dandelion. I thought the frost wiped them all out. All but one. Watch English movies with subtitles. Learn new words and use them as a part of your conversation with people. Always carry a pocket dictionary for you may need to know the meaning of. Pick a topic, look into the mirror and talk to yourself. Record it and listen, then try to correct the mistakes. Focus on pronunciation, speed, clarity and emphasis. Furthermore, in terms of phonology, as we all know, there are 24 English consonants and 12 vowels in English, which have been classified by tongue height, tongue position, and lip rounding. English also has 8 diphthongs, which are sequences of 2 vowels sounds together in the same syllable. I think it's because of Malaysian always stick to their mother tongue, so it's very hard to try something new and stick to the most of it. Most of the words in English and Bahasa Melayu for sure have a different sound and spelling. When learners have trouble in perceiving the sounds which do not exist in their native language, they um, tend to they tend to find the nearest equivalence to substitute those new sounds and words. We are coming to the end of my presentation. I would like to thank all the wonderful people, especially to my introduction to phonology lecturer, Mr. Cairo Fidaos. Thank you for taking time out of your busy personal and professional schedule. It means the world to me. Also, not forget to my explosion members. Thank you so much for spending your time, effort, courage, and cooperation throughout the class sessions. Thank you. Bye-bye.